Hello everyone, this is Y Manoharadi, Department of Cyber Security, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today I am going to discuss about the concept of IP security services of a Protocol Question Bank. So what is mean by Internet Protocol Security? So what is mean by Internet Protocol and what is mean by Internet Protocol Security? Is there any difference between Internet Protocol and Internet Protocol Security? So yes, we can say that it is a difference between Internet Protocol and Internet Protocol Security. So with the concepts of different like authentication headers, encapsulating security payloads, Internet Key Exchange, we can offer, we can offer with that all the services in the Internet Protocol, we can call it as Internet Protocol Secure. So here in the Internet Protocol packet, there is no encapsulating security payload, there is no authentication header and there is no internet key exchange mechanisms. Those three are the extra services, those three are the security services offered in the internet protocol. So now we can come back to this, uh, what is internet protocol security? So internet protocol security and formally shortly it is known as IP secure is a framework of open standards is a framework of open standards for ensuring private secure communications so ensuring for what private and secure communications over the internet protocol networks over the internet protocol networks through the use of cryptographic security services through the use of cryptographic security services so with the help of these cryptographic services we can ensure that we can maintain that private and secure communications over the internet protocol networks over the internet protocol networks so that's why we can come to the definition of ip secure is a framework it is a framework of what open standards for what for ensuring private secure communications over internet protocol networks and through the use of cryptographic security services so here ip secure is a suite of cryptography based protection services and security protocols cryptography based protection services and security protocols so which is implemented with a lot of protocols and which is implemented with a lot of security services lot of protocols as well as a lot of security services that's why we can come to the known as framework we can say that it is a framework for uh, of open standards framework of open standards because it requires no changes to the programs or protocols because it requires no changes because it is a framework it is a framework of open standards so like that uh, we can say that it is a and it doesn't have any no changes you can easily deploy ip secure for existing network we can easily deploy ip secure for existing networks also so ip secure protects IP secure protocol, IP secure service protects one or more paths, one or more paths between a pair of hosts, one or more paths between a pair of hosts as a pair of security gateways, as a pair of security gateways or a security gateway and hosts. So that is nothing but a pair of security gateways are nothing but router to router or network to router or host to router or you can say that host to host also host to host or network to network or network to router or host to router anyway the pair of so in between the pair of any hosts in between the pair of any security gateways and it between any pair of security and host both so a security gateway is an intermediate device a security gateway is what an intermediate device such as a switch or firewall that implements ip secure that implements ip secure so 
we can use switch or firewalls as a security gateways as a security gateways and devices that use ip secure to protect the path between them are called as what peers called as them what peers so devices that using ip secure to protecting the path between them are called as what peers we can call it as what peers so the ip secure service is implemented for the services between either gateway to gateway or either network to gateway or either host to gateway or else host to host or host to networks also so ip secure requires a payment card industry that is nothing but pci you can you can stand at that payment card industry accelerated card so the, this is called as what pac so pac that stands for what payment card industry accelerator card to provide hardware data compression and encryption techniques so data compression and encryption for this for this in the payment card industries this ip security requires both compression as well as encryption process to do this compression and encryption process we use that services as ip security services so here a pack is a hardware processing unit the switches cpu controls the switches cpus controls so all the cpus controls are having under the cpu uh, hardware processing unit so ip secure provides the following security services for traffic at the ip layer at the ip layer so this ip secure is offered which is ip secure as is security service offered at the at the top of at the top of ip layer at the top of ip layer or network layer at the top of ip layer or network layer so we can see what are the security services are offered by the ip security so first one is what data origin authentication data origin authentication that means identifying who sent the data so from where the data is sending and who the data is going to be sent so from where the data is going to be sent and who the data is to be sent so identifying who sent the data is that, that is nothing but data origin authentication data origin authentication and second one is what confidentiality second one is what confidentiality that is nothing but encryption so confidentiality is nothing but hidden hide, hidden process hidden process of the data so ensuring that the data has not been read and enroot read and enroot so that means the data which you processed which you are sending through the channel is not read by the attackers not read by the attackers to do that we used to do encryption we used to do encryption process and next one connection less integrity connection less integrity ensuring that data has not been changed the data not has been changed and wrote even the connection is lost even the connection is lost when the connection is established the data is in the integrity position when during the transmission of the data the connection less the connection is aborted the data is never lost the data gets never lost so maintaining ensuring that the data has not been changed ensuring that the data has not been changed or enrouted and replay protection and replay protection so detecting packets received more than once to help protect against denial of service attacks so that indicates that detecting packets received more than once more than once how many packets we received more than once is going to be help to protect against uh, this type of denial of service attacks types that means replay protection that means don't give a chance to sending multiple packets don't give a chance to sending multiple packets because of already arrived the packet already arrived the packet so these are the services that means 
no need to send duplicates or no need to send multiple packets even unnecessary and uh, even the connection loss also the data has to be in the original position and uh, the data has not been readable format uh, through the channel and the data has where it is started to sending the data and where uh, who is the send who sent the data so these are all the security services what one is data origin authentication confidentiality connectionless integrity and replay protection replay protection so what are the different types of ip secure what are the different types of ip secure so there are two primary types of ip secure protocols exist actually so the type 50 one is ip type 50 which call it as encapsulating security payload one is encapsulating security payload and ip type 51 is uh, indicated that right authentication header authentication header so encapsulating security provides authentication and encryption both so authentication and encryption process is both done by encapsulating security payload and authentication header provides authentication but not encryption so esp provides encapsulating security payload provides both authentication and encryption but authentication header provides only authentication but not encryption and the security associations are provides digital certifications or digital signature security associations are provides digital certifications are so it provides what digital certification it provides digital certification or digital signatures digital signatures for what for this authentication and encryption processes for this authentication and encryption processes so one is providing authentication and one is providing authentication and encryption and other one is providing secure uh, other one is providing digital certificates or digital signatures and next what type of protocol is ip secure so we know that ip is a network protocol ip is a network protocol but what type of protocol is ip secure actually so in computing internet protocol security ip secure is shortly it is known as ip secure is a secure network protocol suite is a secure network protocol suite that authenticates and encrypts both it is doing what both authenticates and encrypts packets of data to provide secure encrypted communication so to maintain the communication is to be to maintain this communication channel or communication process is to be secure is to be secure communication process or to be secure communication channel to provide this secure communication process to provide the secure communication channel we say that internet protocol security is a secure network protocol suit so it provides a secure communication secure encrypted communication between two computers over an internet protocol network over an internet protocol network so example we use it in the virtual private networks so virtual private network provides a encrypted communication channel encrypted communication channel encrypted communication channel so this all provides a private accessing this all provides a private accessing so that no one can able to no one can able to read the data forwarding uh, read the data from this channel and no one can able to attack on this target attack on this channel because the channel is encrypted as well as secured encrypted as well as secured so so that's why we can conclude that uh, ip secure is a secure network protocol suit is a secure network protocol suit so here we can understand that what so this is one network and this is another network in between them the network which is used by this router or network which is used by this router can establishes a secure communication channel 
establishes a secured secured communication channel that channel is called as encrypted tunnel channel encrypted tunnel channel so this channel is operated in two modes this channel is operated in two modes one is transport mode one is transport mode and the second one is what tunnel mode second one is what tunnel mode so this encrypted tunnel encrypted channel encrypted process is done in two modes one is what transport mode and the second one is what tunnel mode so transport mode is nothing but what delivering the services delivering the services between host to host host to host host to host or host to gateway but in the tunnel mode provide the services between gateway to gateway or network to gateway network to gateway so here the router that is nothing but gateway and this is the gateway so in between this the services offered between gateway to gateway is offered by tunnel mode is offered by tunnel mode so here ip secure encrypted tunnel mode offers delivers the services in between both these two these two gateway to gateway or else gateway to network gateway to gateway or else gateway to network so this network of uh, this network receiving the services from network 10.10.10.0 .10 .10 and uh, this services from 20.20.20.0 so both networks both networks are going to be using this encrypted tunnel channel for communicating their two processes communicating their two processes and here we can use this top level ip secure processing model top level secure ip processing model so what it is actually so this is the ip secure boundary which contains what authentication header as well as encapsulating security payload so we we already said that what ip secure is equals to authentication header plus encapsulating security payload plus internet key exchange so this this offered as a ip secure is a secure service or secure communication channel or secure network protocol so authentication header provides authentication encap en encapsulating security payload provides both encryption and authentication and the internet key exchange generates cryptographic keys cryptographic keys so with that cryptographic keys we can we can able to convert the plain text into plain text into ciphertext or ciphertext into plain text so that means user cannot able to read the data user cannot able to read the data without having any keys without having any keys so because of this because of these services using in the ip secure the ip secure having more more importance than the ip protocol more important than the ip protocol so here the cipher text which is unprotected information unprotected interface but when the authentication header and the encapsulating security offers this becomes a protected interface this becomes a protected interface because the interface which is offered with the authentication header as well as encapsulating security payload and also internet key exchange so if it is bypassed then it becomes unprotected phase but when it having this authentication header and the ike then it becomes a protected interface protected interface so this is the way of understanding and one more thing the internet protocol is having only source uh, source address destination address and packet header but when it comes to the ip secure process ip security process along with the source header destination header the authentication header and encapsulating header also provides also provide to the destination also provide to the destination so that each and every source header or source address is identified with the next another protocol another header that is either authentication header or either encapsulating security payload so this is the way the processing offers in the 
IB secure boundary. So when it uh, when it offers with the authentication header and encapsulating security payload service, that uh, text becomes a protected interface. The text becomes a protected interface. When it is not having any authentication header or IKE, then it becomes unprotected interface. Then it becomes unprotected interface. So here we can see that the original packet, original IP packet. So we, what one is what IP header, and the second one is what TCP header, and third one is what data. So this is the IP packet. When it comes to this IP secure, IP secure, the additional packets added, the additional packets added, which are authentication header is added, ESP header is added, TESP uh, ESP trailer is added, and ESP authentication is added. So here the TCP header plus data plus ESP trailer is what encrypted data is what encrypted data. But I'll come to the all these all these fields, including authentication header, IP header, ESP header. It comes like authenticated. It comes like both authenticated. It comes like both authenticated. So now it is authenticated plus encrypted data so authenticated plus encrypted data so this is the difference uh, we can understand that the original ip packet and uh, the ah and the esp transport mode ip security service packet and uh, <coughs> we can configure ip security service on any operating system by the following way like this so open windows features on your operating system open windows features so just click on start button just click on start button at that start button you can click on windows features windows features so it it shows that all the turn windows features on or off so it shows that windows features turn or off and here you can you can maximize or you can explore the security service you can explore the security service there you can see that basic authentication service centralized ssl certificate support client certificate mapping authentication digest authentication iis client certificate mapping authentication and ip security so now you can check ip security to configure your system is ip secure service to configure your system is ip secure service and also you can type uh, services dot services dot msc on your command prompt on your command on your command bar so you will get all the services inbuilt on your system so just look at that all the services there you will find ip secure agent ip secure policy agent ip secure policy agent so just to start the service start the service then your your system becomes ip secure service start the service as ip security service or else if you want to restart the service also you can have that option and uh, stop the service also you can have that option just look uh, just see where where it is actually find out so look at the system so just type windows plus r so here you can type services you can type services dot msc type services dot msc so typing that one you will get all the services you will get all the services see here these are all the services which are which are inbuilt which are inbuilt offered in your system so all these services are type of local system service or else type of network network system service network service local system service and local service so there are three types of services are offered here local service local system service and a network service so now here you can see ip security policy agent ip security policy agent so here you can see here ip secure policy agent so when i click on this ip secure policy agent it's automatically showing that the description and the status of it is showing status of this it is showing so running mode running mode 
running mode and it is stopping that mode and uh, if you want to stop the service you can stop and if you want to restart the service you can start so click on the stop service or else click on the restart service so stopping the service or restarting the service so by stopping the service you will get the service has to be stopped by restarting the service you will get the service has to be restarted so like the way you can you can set up your service in your system set up your service in the your system and what are the benefits of ip secure what are the benefits of ip secure so when ip secure is implemented in a firewall or router in a firewall or router it provides a strong security it provides a strong security whose application is to all traffic crossing this parameter whose application is to all traffic crossing this parameter so traffic within a company or work group does not incur the overhead of security related processing or not incur the overhead of security related processing so ip secure is below the transport layer below the transport layer which is having both transport uh, tcp layer and udp protocol tcp protocol and udp protocol and is thus transparent to applications and is thus to transparent to application so there is no need to change software no need to change software on a user or server system when ip secure is implemented in the firewall or router so no need to change the software because ip secure is implemented in firewall or router so even if ip secure is implemented even ip secure is implemented in end systems upper layer software including applications is not affected so upper layer software is not affected including applications is also not affected and ip secure can be transparent to end users ip secure can be transparent to the end users so whenever the ip secure is implemented in your system no need to change the softwares or no need to uh, reconfigure the firewalls or no need to install or uninstall the upper layer softwares also including applications including applications that does not gets any affected that does not gets any affected so applications of ip secure what are the applications of ip secure so the security of network the security of a network the internet communicate has done a lot of work and developed application specific security mechanisms in numerous application areas so it includes like electronic mail it's like a privacy enhanced mail or pretty good privacy mail so those are all electronic mail services so in that ip secure is offer, offered as a as a authenticated or encrypted service and network management so simple network management protocol like snmp version 3 snmp version 3 web access so web access secure http protocol secure socket layers secure socket layers and others so however users have some security concerns that cut across protocol layers that cut across protocol layers for example an enterprise can run a secure a private tcp ip network by disallowing links to untrusted sites so it provides an enterprise can run a secure or private network by disallowing links to untrusted sites disallowing links to untrusted sites so encrypting packets that leave the premises and authenticating packets that enter the premises encrypting packets that leave the premises and authenticating packets that enter the premises by implementing security at the ip level by implementing at the security level an organization can ensure secure networking not only for applications that have security mechanisms but also for the many security ignorant application so based on the type is secure we can have a lot of applications we can have a lot of applications with the implementation of all these tcp ip networks all these tcp ip networks so 
<coughs> so that is about the applications and benefits of IPC Pure. So once again, we revise the topics what we discussed in this session. So here we can say that what is mean by IP security protocol. So is that uh, different with IP and IP secure protocol? Yes, we can say that it IP is a not a protocol, normal protocol, but IP secure is a protocol which is a secure network communication protocol, which is secure network communication protocol and which provides services between both router to router or host to host or host to network, host to network. So we can say that because of all these services offered in the IP secure, we can say that IP secure is a framework of open standards, framework of open standards that ensures private and secure communications, that ensures private and secure communications. So what are the security services offered actually? So one is what data origin authentication and confidentiality, connectionless integrity and replay protection. So data origin authentication, where the data is started, who sent the data actually, confidentiality. So ensuring that the data has not been read by, read by anyone and connectionless integrity. So ensuring that the data has not been changed, it has to be integrated. And replay production. So detecting the packets received more than one, more than one. So no need to, no need to allow more than one packets with the same type. So what are the different types of IP secure? So IP secure offers with the different types like uh, encapsulating security payload, authentication header, and security associations. So what type of protocol IP secure? So it is a secure network protocol suite. We can offer it as a secure network protocol. So, so here we can see that the IP secure service offered in the tunnel mode and like it provides the services between both transport mode and tunnel mode. So transport mode offers services between host to host or host to gateway. But tunnel mode offers the services from gateway to gateway or network to gateway. And this is the IP secure processing model. So the um, text the data which is having authentication header and encryption and encapsulating security payload is in the mode of protected interface and uh, which is not having authentication header and uh, encrypted encapsulating security payload is in the unprotected interface. So the difference between IP packet and uh, IP secure pocket. So IP packet doesn't have authentication header, ESP header and ESP trailer also. But uh, authentication IP secure pockets having all these authentication header, ESP header, ESP trialer, and ESP authentication. And how can we configure IP secure as a service in our system? So IP security. Go to the Windows features. Or uh, go to the Windows features and uh, click on the toner of select the IP security as a check mark and click on OK. And what are the benefits? So benefits are nothing but uh, providing the services to each and every each and every layers. So in installing firewalls, routers, strong security applications or applications may not be get affected to installing all the services. And what are the applications? So electronic email services, file transfer protocol services, TCP IP networking services, all the services, the applications are IP security implemented. So this is all about the IP security services. Thank you all. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.